You're watching Force 13's live streaming service. I think we missed it. Your train has no tracks and is on its side and leaking poisonous gas everywhere over the project. All I would have to say, you've let me down. Oh, what? Because I've mapped what I believe to be the center point of Irma. Confirmed tornado, right as you say that. What? That's the wrong answer. <laughs> <laughs> There's no business like show business. Live from Force 13 headquarters. Good evening, this is Force 13 Sundays Live. My name's Nathan Foy, here in the studio once again in this rather curious position. Uh, you're literally on the end of my microphone stand, so that's rather interesting. It's uh, Force 13 Sundays, our uh, typical event, usually, uh, that we run on a Sunday. I think it's only our third one at this point. It would have been our fifth, but be we haven't ran the last two shows uh, because of tornado outbreaks, and that's why we've not been here, so we've been on the US channel doing all of those stuff. Uh, it's been a very tumultuous time over there. Uh, but this is our community hour, where we get the chat, a load of nonsense really, uh, engage with everyone, send in any questions you like for our very large team that are here tonight that I'll introduce shortly. And we will also talk about what we've been doing behind the scenes, how you can get involved, uh, and a little bit of everything. We will actually, uh, Strap wrote my blurb today, I think, and it says uh, that we will be talking about Strat's face and cooking, uh, Force 13 Racing, Tropical Depression 1E, and more. We will talk about Tropical Depression 1E, but for the time being, here is our team right now. Hello, everyone. Hey, Hi. what's happening, everybody? Hello. We're all looking How's fine Hello. today. Uh, and actually, we've, we've reached a few milestones recently, and one uh, Luxury Lapras has just pointed one out. We reached 500 members on our Discord server recently. Ooh. Oh, wow. That is mm. pretty insane, i got to say. Uh, that's, you, that's, that's pretty yeah, hype. You can also join in. Uh, it's on the link underneath us somewhere. Um, and also, today, we reached 2,000 followers on Twitter, so that was very nice as well. Uh, our Twitter following isn't particularly high compared to our other followings, but we're working on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're totally working on it. Uh, tonight, Devon's running another Force 13 race, and there he is right now on the top left-hand panel. Let's go to Devon. Oh, there's me in the middle of it all. Let's turn me off now. Devon, what's going on tonight? Yes, so we have Force 13 Racing event number six on the season from the Pikes Peak International Raceway. Uh, what you're seeing right now is the one and only round of pre-qualifying featuring those who are not in the top 25 in points. Uh, the slowest eight of the drivers in this half an hour session go home and will not be competing in the race tonight. It will Probably be a me, 95 like usual, five lap event around this 1.06 mile oval. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and we'll have regular updates from Devon on that. Um, we've also got a bunch of other people here tonight. Uh, let's go in order of the... It looks like a keypad tonight, this, uh, this window arrangement. Luke, how are you today? Uh, I'm good. Uh, it's a nice few weeks there. Nice yeah. to lay back. 
and uh, oh. you and a few other people in here have been very busy on US streams recently. How's it been going for you? Well, it's been a chaotic bunch of systems moving through uh, Dixie Alley in the past few couple of days. I think the most recent one was that tornado emergency we had. Moving from, it, it moved through three states going tornado warning through all three of them. And uh, that was a pretty deadly, tiring, and uh, just pure, amazing system in the wrong way, of course. But yeah, it, it's just been chaotic, yeah, but it's been really fun. To, yeah. Re it's been really fun to report all. All right, we've also got Justin. Hello. Oh, hello. And how are you today? I'm pre doing pretty great. Excellent. Anything you'd like to add? Uh, not really that much. All it's right. just, I haven't really been doing that much over the past week, except for just relaxing. Oh, well, well, who has? In fact, there's been a lot of relaxing here going on because the weather's been wonderful. Yeah, I saw your Facebook post earlier today. <laughs> yes, it, uh, did, I, did I do one today? <laughs> yeah. I think I did. It was two hours in the sun, dude. You spent you two did. hours in the sun. I did. That was early this week. Uh, I was just about to introduce Ethan, but his image is gone. Ethan I'm and here. Mitchell were I'm there. Here. I'm here. <laughs> My dog was deciding to lose his mind again. Yeah, he was looking That's out the window cool. earlier, wasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes again. There we are. <laughs> Uh, right in the middle of the screen, because Discord knows who's the center of attention, it's Strat Becker. Yo, what's happening? <laughs> Outrageous behavior. I don't Did understand. I just said hello. Hello to all the viewers. I hope everyone in the chat's having a fantastic weekend. Uh, another one stuck in quarantine again. It's been a long haul, but we're getting through it. Uh -huh. Still no excuse not to make your bed, Strat. It is very made. That's just it doesn't look very made. Hey, right. Strat, no. you're an idiot. Stop looking. <laughs> Stop looking this we way. No, 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 hold on, hold on. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. You guys got to excuse that because I have this fantastic pillow with me, anyways. You know. Oh, I have this with me anyways. So you have to excuse pillow. the poor, need... the poor bed design because of that. You know, this is just a special design. It isn't. It isn't unmade. It's just design. You know. Do we need to get I, you? That is a artist. dreadful excuse. I'm an art student. I'm an art student, man. Art student, yeah. Right. What? Yes, I'm I a thought you were a finance student. Let me use this as an excuse, Devin. Come on, dude. <laughs> no, you. I think we need to get our <laughs> strap ourselves made. And, and calling yourself an art stupid to... Uh, an art stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize to any art majors out there. <laughs> It oh, does Devin. happen. Mistakes do happen. I, I would like to say there was this one time back in college where, for whatever reason, the art department decided to hijack our physics building and decided to put all of their god-awful pictures into our science building. Oh, dear. Good on them. Good on them. Right. Yes, mm -hmm. and we were very ang angry about it. Let's yeah. move on, because we'll never get through the intros at this rate. Who's showing imagery of tro what's left of Tropical Depression 1E? I'm gonna guess. Me. Hello, me. How are you? <laughs> me. I'm doing fine. <laughs> it's Isaac. Good evening, yes. Isaac. <laughs> give, me, give me a second. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm, do I'm doing great. Um, this is uh, imagery of uh, Tropical Depression. Oh, well, what, what, what was 01E? Now mm. it's a uh, post-tropical post -tropical storm now. Had a decent run as a tropical depression for I think about 24 hours or maybe a little bit more than that. Could be wrong. Um, and now it's pretty much nothing except just the remnant low pressure just going around to the northwest. Uh, Going to be affecting nobody, thankfully. Yeah, it was a uh, affecting no a, end. A very early alarm ringing noise, wasn't it, when this system formed 1E yeah. e with the e earliest e tropical depression in the eastern it should Pacific. Have it's completely gone. 500 yeah. years of history east of 140 <laughs> degrees west. Of course, a lot yeah. of systems have formed before uh, May in the central Pacific. Well, a few, not a lot. Um, but that's 1E. E. And it is gone like a crab rave at this point. Well, I mean, did Don't you expect anything up. else? <laughs> Of course it's I mean, gone now. you never know. It's very historical either way. Well, it wasn't going to be a Cat yep, 5, was it, Strat? 
No, but no. regardless, chat record. By the way, everyone, <clears throat> there is a poll at the request of Nathan to be on tonight's stream in the card. Is it out now? Top right. Yeah, it's yeah. been there. Um, in the top right of the I don't stream. Where have you put this left. thing? It's, it's so, like okay, you gotta you gotta hover over the live stream, and the info mm. the, the little info button will come in the top right corner. You click on that, and there's the question of tonight's stream, directed by Nathan. How much would you pay for a Strat Becker? <laughs> Ranges from one penny to a million dollars. So far, thirty-seven percent have said one million dollars. No. Have said one. Sixty-two percent have said one. Why did you make this? <laughs> you guys should be ashamed of yourselves. I think that's like ten. That's like nine votes too. So keep it up, guys. Keep up. Keep up all the voting tonight. Jesus. One hundred percent. Right. That's all my We're still going through the intros. We're ten minutes in. Uh, <laughs> we are also joined. I, I don't think you've been on. Um, have I? Uh, have we been on a stream yet, Craig? We have, haven't we? We did a briefing together. Uh, but this is your formal re-debut because Craig's been away since uh, the uh, summer of 2018. It's great to have him back. Um, and reinstates himself as one of the longest-running members. Uh, he first joined in May 2015. Yep, sounds about right. So nearly a fifth yes. anniversary, and I still can't get over that, Craig, the glasses. That's the only change about me. I'm still the same old bat crazy me. Yep, same old craziness. We've also got David... Good to be here. It is very good to be here, mate. How You're are welcome. You, you alright? Oh, not bad. Uh, what's making news over here? Uh, here in Queensland, oh, restrictions go. are to be eased back oh, as from next weekend. Oh, but okay. only slightly. <coughs> and we've also... But I'm fine. Great. And we've also got Cesar Gamez, who has been doing some updates for us recently as well. Hola, Good Cesar. To see you. Hola, Nathan. ¿Cómo estás? Oh, muy bien. <laughs> <laughs> That's the extent of my Spanish, really. <laughs> it's very well, powerful. Something. <laughs> very smooth. Smooth. I'm not so sure about smooth. Okay, so if you've got any questions for us whilst we're on the stream tonight, start your message with Force 13 all in text. It will light up big and bright for us in this text box over here, which is on my left-hand screen. Um, and I'll be able to have a look every so often. Um, and apart from that, we are just here. So let's talk, let's talk to Devon, who's currently looking at my car. What's going on? Devon? Yep. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, I'm losing connection every now and again. So uh, the audio is kind of cutting in and out right now. Uh, we are roughly 12 minutes in, 18 minutes to go. And remember, the bottom eight end up getting sent home. So that'll be the middle eight cars that you end up seeing there in your top left-hand corner, which as of right now would be... Isaac, well, actually, the leaderboard just changed. It's John Courier got a faster lap. Am I uh, safe but yet? This oh, one no. now, John. <laughs> so this would now be Ryan Leahy, Isaac Gomez, Brian Wood, Leighton Holland, Sam Traxler. Come on, Devin. Um, you Eric let me Sylvester, in this time. Jesse Powers, and Nathan Foy. <laughs> you got to oh, let me God. in this time, Devin. Did you say I'm oh, out? Oh, that's a, that's a relief. You you're, you're are off. currently out. But there's 18 minutes to go, so I wouldn't sweat it. What place is he in right now? But I was out last week as well, and I blamed you for that. <laughs> yes. Oh, it does happen, Nathan. You get used to it getting suckered out of the tournament you after might get a while. Used to I do. It, I do I'm have not to used say, to getting used to it. I do have to say, look, Luke Katz right now is looking pretty safe. Uh, 146.24 miles an hour. Seems like anything over 146 miles an hour is going to be pretty safe to get in. So, 146.2, Luke Cat should be in. All right. Eris Sylvester, 145.2. Not good enough, man. And the actual race starts at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, straight after our stream on the Force 13 Gaming Channel. That's true. Yep. Force 13 US is correct, though. Nathan is on the bubble. Yeah, thanks very much for the reminder. <laughs> um... <laughs> 
Now, uh, we've got a few other things coming up, including the next phase of our photo competition. We've got uh, a new subject, and we'll reveal that a little bit later on. Um, we've also got one or two little special things. If you've not seen Force 13 Extra recently, then uh, we're going to bring Force 13 Extra to the main channel near the end of this stream. Ooh. And Strat looks particularly scared about that one. I mean, I think I know what it's about, okay. and it is... Funny and a bit terrifying at the terrifying, same time. Terrifying, absolutely. Um, and so we'll probably spend a bit of time looking at some comments that have come in on YouTube in the past week. Do you always have to look at those? Yes. We also do have that photo competition. Also, in the next week, uh, we will ha we had two premieres this week, didn't we? Now, next week, there's going to be three premieres. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday night. All premieres on the channel. The first one, we already know what that's going to be. The track of Typhoon Tip. That's going out on Wednesday night. All right, let's see what questions we've got. Um, there was a few that came in early on that I've neglected so far. Let me just try and find those somewhere on here. Um, Do you well, hear the cars zooming by? <laughs> whilst, we wait, whilst we wait for that, um, any more comments you guys want to make on 1E? Uh... Five strikes well, for the NHC oh, yes, for five Devin's, horrible advisories. Yes, Devin's very angry about it. You think it was a storm it's for gone. only one advisory? It was I like, think it was a storm for zero advisories. Oh, it was, yeah. in, it was, in, it was a true. historical storm. It was a historical <laughs> so the storm. NH, so the NHC has been banned until May 17th. <laughs> Man, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a pretty lengthy ban on Why them, the dude. 17th? That's after the hurricane Because they season. were banned until hurricane season on May 15th. And now, uh, with two more putrid advisories, they got an extra 48 hours added onto their ban. That's outrageous. Oh, dear. Okay. Yeah, it, outrageous it, behavior. It was Yeah, an outrageous crazy. behavior on part of 1E. It be, why did you have to defy climatology by existing in April? I mean, come on! Hey, we almost had one in January or, last year. Or, oh my goodness. What's or, <laughs> it was just a cloud. It was just a cloud. Alright. Yep, it was just yeah. a cloud, shouldn't have been designated. Pretty much all the questions we've had so far are talking about the Atlantic Hurricane season prediction and, it, and that it's too low. <laughs> I think that happens every year. Well, the prediction acknowledges that there is a, more of a chance of an above average season than a below average season. That's something I can tell you, um, and, it, and I'm probably I probably am in agreement that those numbers will probably be raised when we do our May thirty first update, uh, based on trends that have developed even since we did that video. Which is how long ago did we do that now? About two weeks, two and a half about weeks, that. just about. Um, it's it's also though that you know that number doesn't include subtropical cyclones. It either. doesn't include so, subtropical. You know, that was, but you look if that was last year. Mm -hmm. Then you'd be technically saying well, well 20 storms could happen but we don't yeah. usually get six subtropical cyclones in a single year well uh, i'll say one thing about the atlantic right now tropical cyclone heat potential records go back to 1992 and there is not one year at this stage of the season well not season but year that comes close to where we are right now are you Caribbean saying it's sea. very hot and out there extremely hot sun more than any other year since 1992 and probably beyond so you That's think about all out. of those seasons that, oh dear. I mean, I, I still maintain that all a system has to do is touch the Western Caribbean. You've probably got one of the most intense cyclones in the Atlantic. It's going to be very interesting oh to see dear. what happens in October, considering that's that sounds... when the Western Caribbean is usually <laughs> the most active. But mm. as long as I don't have to miss the, like, the Bryce Vine concert to be on a 24-7 live stream, we're going to be okay. Yeah. We will that's probably the, the be very busy on Force 13. Yep, that, that's the expectation that we're always going to deal with. And Worst hopefully case scenario soon, will we will be able to... We're, we're trialing some stuff out at the minute, thanks to some very, very intelligent people. <clears throat> Jason. Um, <laughs> and we will uh, probably, at some point in the season, or in the early season, be able to actually start producing a whole... Like the live streaming service as we first envisioned it, a 24 7 stream automated showing the latest tropical cyclones. So, 
All you have to do is hop online onto one of our videos and you'll see the latest. If I'm not mistaken, wow. that, that's kind of been in the test phase with that other feature as well, it's, right? It, it, yeah, the tropical one hasn't really been made yet, but we've got a concept to build on. And I can tell you that concept, and that is our new Earthquakes channel. Uh, now, some of you may remember back in 2013, we launched Magnitude 13 on March the 11th. That was the second anniversary yes. of the Japan earthquake and tsunami. Um, I have lost the details for that account. So we are now on Force 13 <laughs> Earthquakes, which is a new channel. And if you are interested in seismology, you can find that. Um, it's now linked on our channel page in the featured channels area. And you can see, I think one of the test streams that Jason did is online. So you can see the format that he made for Earthquakes. It might be unlisted. It, it might, might be, unlisted. be, I'm not sure. But if, if you do get to see it, it's pretty damn good. And if you don't you know get what? to see it, take my word for it. <laughs> I, you know what I'll do though is I'll actually, I'll actually go to the, I'll actually go to the extra channel right now at the end of tonight's stream. Um, if you stick around to the end of the racing stream, I'll post it there, the unlisted link, so that you guys can check it out. Oh, I, I should add that uh, the racing stream, as I said, is on the gaming channel. We'll we'll get the we'll show the beginning of it here on the main channel, but uh, then we'll be finishing up. Yeah, we'll say that the, right. the work done. In that piece by the earthquake art, yeah. kind of having the graphics set up like that, it's an absolute piece of wizardry. Gotta love it. I, it I is agree totally wiz wizardry. So a lot of people uh, have really gone and put out their predictions for Atlantic Hurricane season now. Um, and people saying 20 name storms, 18 storms. I mean, pe you know what? Maybe we should do a uh, website-wide poll and... Uh, See what's going on with that. Oh, there's you know, one... I, we can make a poll later tonight. There's one other thing. Predict the season? Not well, maybe. Who predict remembers... the season was fun. Who? Yeah, it was. It's a shame we can't do it at the minute. Who remembers the old predictor storm as well? I remember Ooh, that. Ooh, yeah. yeah. I do. We're not doing predictor storm, but we're doing something very interesting very soon. In about a week's time, we are going to be doing... Uh, now, people know about our um, master computer that generates storms all on its own. We're actually going to yes. be doing that, and there's going to be a trial of a new feature, um, which will probably be at least to some degree public, or the results of it will be, where some people, might just be our members initially, will be able to participate in this game where the master oh, yeah. computer generates storms in the Atlantic, throughout a hurricane season, and the players get to control the entire emergency response system for the state of Florida. <laughs> yeah! That, that'd so. be chaos. I mean, yeah. it'd, it'd be fun, but that also sounds like chaos when you're just talking about Florida. So, we're going to see what happens there. We're trialing out with Florida, because it's most likely to get hit by a storm. <laughs> so, we'll, <laughs> we'll see what the results look like. That's probably going to be next week. If it you don't happen. know what this was based off, it had the weirdest cones I've ever seen in my life. Mm. And, yeah. and the cones are going to look just... Well, cones very are. nearly NHC cones. You can tell the differences, but uh, they look pretty good. Alright, yeah. we yeah. might have some more questions at this point. Um, but I think Devin wanted to cut in there. Uh, no, there's really nothing new to report. Uh, let's see here. Oh, someone just got in. I'm, let me go ahead and figure out who just got in. You're still watching me. Of... That makes me nervous. <laughs> There's uh, a lot in the chat. Yeah, it was you that just got in. Yes! Uh, Nathan Foy now up to 13th at 146.207 miles an hour. There you was... go. So Nathan Foy is now in. Yes. Tanya Hardy is out. I'm so happy. Devin kicked me out last you're week. Not, it's not a guarantee, but you're at 146.2, mm. so I think that's probably going to be pretty safe. All right, you better not be lying to me. Nathan's got in tonight. It seems there's a lot in the chat of people talking about their predictions for the year right now. Yeah, well, we, we've opened There's a, a lot of chats. Some saying, 12 t some saying 12 storms. Um, some saying another one. Someone's calling 12 an underestimation. Someone says at least 18, at most 30. 30. 18 to 20. They said 30. at most. 30. They said at most. They said at most. That's their most extreme scenario. 
believe that's <laughs> at like most. impossible. Thirty, hey, right? It could happen. It could happen. No, you never know. No. Someone said tw someone else is saying twenty. Uh, they're saying there's no way there's gonna be twelve. Someone's saying nineteen, eighteen. Someone's saying fifteen to twenty-one. Um, oh, quite a variation then. Someone's saying someone's saying zero to thirty-one. We had, a few more, we had a few more I like that prediction. Earlier. 0 to 31. I like that prediction. Yeah, someone's saying 20 to 22, including subtropical. 8 to 12 hers. We had a few more questions. Do we think that there will be any low riders this season? What does low rider mean? I assume I that means low latitude cyclones. Possibly. So you're saying like MDR systems that continue into the Caribbean? That's what it's Probably. Well, if that yeah. does happen, I mean, then you're in for a world of hurt. <laughs> That's all I can tell you. I mean, if you're talking about a storm that's far enough south that it could try to clip, like, Colombia or Venezuela, then... I mean, we yeah, did no, deal with not, that a couple years really. ago, almost. But, but there no. is there is a, a significant chance that you could get Cape Verde hurricanes that move through the Caribbean Sea and possibly, well, smash into the Yucatan or even into the Gulf. That is certainly a proposal for tracks. Um... But I would say that the chances of impacts are probably higher again on the Antilles, really. Um, but if a storm does miss the Antilles and goes through the sea, Caribbean Sea instead, then there's going to be a big fat problem there. Especially if it gets really far west too. You know, I think the last time we had a you know a really storm really go through, I think about half of the Caribbean was Maria back. Back in it 2018. didn't even go through half of the no. Caribbean. You... If anything, it would be Matthew. Matthew, yeah. <sighs> yeah, I mean, if we see something get, you know, try to get as far west as like Jamaica, that could be a big problem. They haven't actually received tropical storm force conditions, I think, since Hurricane Sandy way back when. Should have. They so. should have received tropical storm force winds from Matthew. Yeah, I think they would have done. Did they? I think they would have done. They definitely should have. They either. They, I think they might have got clipped. I think. Sure. No, they were they were definitely in the tropical storm force winds. All right, I'm I'm, I'm just talking about. I think I'm in hurricane conditions. I'm just a bit There's blind another tonight. another question: What are our predictions for May, tornado wise? Uh... Oh, boy. <laughs> Ooh, Tulsa, watch out! You're gonna get an EF three. That's Where bold. Do I... <laughs> Where do I start? Where do I start? That, I mean... That's saying it. I mean, you heard so it. You far, heard it here first. <laughs> I mean, at least so far, analog-wise, all activity so far for this year's tornado season points to higher activity than what we saw last year, and that's on that's already verified already. So I don't see any reason why that won't continue. Unfortunately, so as long as there's not higher activity year. here. <laughs> because if I got a PDS tornado warning last year, I don't want to know what this year would bring if it's more active here. Okay. It look, is twenty twenty. Now, in in, in 20... the uh, early April prediction, I said that overall around the world, the best analog for this year is last year. <laughs> so, Does that still stand? Hurricane? I don't know whether that still stands. Uh, Nineteen seventy nine is still a very strong analog for the Atlantic. Um, and Look. there were a few bad storms that year. I mean, well, really, it was David and Frederick's show. Yeah, I will say if we if we're dealing with a bad hurricane season globally and a bad May for tornadoes, twenty twenty has been set out to be a pretty terrible, terrible year. I mean, well, gee, I 19... can't rule out a tip. Oh, <laughs> dude, this has already been such a terrible well, year. About, you you well, want to throw that on top of it? Um... Oh, what was the what was the extremely powerful cyclone that existed along with the tip? Vera. Hmm. Vera, yeah. I was also a Cat Five. At yeah, the same exact time. Yeah, yeah. Also yeah. likely, also likely a sub nine hundred millibar Cat Five. Hmm. Hit the Philippines, uh, but I mean, I don't want to go too much into one topic, but uh, we don't really have the central and southern Philippines down for particularly. Bad activity. It's possible, but uh, not so likely. If, if we end up having to eat that, that's going to be pretty sad, not going to lie. Mm. So potentially another Typhoon Meggy of 2010, potentially? 
like that. I, I, don't I think mean, it'll be a Meggy type storm. Um, maybe I'm trying Zeb. to think of analog storms for that. Yeah. Just because we see a really strong storm potentially doesn't mean it has to get close enough to land to cause a ton of chaos, you know? I can't think what, what uh, no. You know, what tip only Im ever impacted land as a Category 1. And I can't even remember where my lists are. Uh, tip, I think it made close impacts to land, or my... Yeah, it I... made landfall in Japan as a Category 1 with that I massive wind field. I knew there were hurricane force winds in Japan. I'm not sure if there were. Yeah, it made, it made landfall. And you'll be able to find out exactly where it made landfall by watching the animation Wednesday night. <laughs> Tip also affected. <laughs> um, it also affected some of the Mariana Islands as a high right, end Ethan. tropical storm low in I'll tell you mm. what the analog is. Or one potential analog for the Westpac. Okay. Typhoon Rita. <laughs> nah, stop saying Rita, dude. Which no. year? Seriously, Which year? 1978 Which year? Rita is a possibility. Perfect. No Perfect. more Rita. No more Rita. Mm. If you've uh, missed it, by the way, Ethan is absolutely crazy about Rita. Rita for Ethan is catnip for the Force 13 cat. <laughs> Alright, now that we're halfway yes, through... The Force 13 cat, Duncan. Duncan. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now that we're halfway through the stream, we want to check the updated poll. People uh -oh. gotta vote on this tomorrow. We need we need everyone uh -oh. to vote on this poll on the cards well, tab. Well, if you'd have for the, put it on the, the community tab, maybe more people would have voted, Strat. You told me to put it here, dude! I didn't tell you to put it here. Yes, I told you to put it somewhere <laughs> where you always put it everywhere all the other times. No, you told me to put it here! No, I didn't. Yeah, no, it's in it's in the cards tab here. So if you if you're on mobile or um on a computer or a tablet, you 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 know you hover over the screen or you tap on the screen depending on your device. That's the card right, yeah. button will come up in the top right, and you'll view tonight's poll, which is how much would you pay for a Strat Becker? Currently, twenty three percent saying one million dollars. Very much appreciate that. Um, con contact me if you're willing to actually pay me a million dollars. That'd be pretty <laughs> yeah, cool. Yeah, right. Um, ten thousand dollars, zero percent. I just um, want right. to say, those people that are saying a million dollars, all you're doing is boosting Strat's ego, which is already lost. It's really not project. boosting my ego, cause no, it's really not boosting my ego, cause sixty-four percent are saying they pay a penny. That's good. That's good. You guys are good. <laughs> buy, buy a pack of Look, strats today for twenty-five cents. Get twenty-five strats. Sounds they, like they a pack of cigarettes okay, you're advertising. A, ma there. a majority, <laughs> of, a majority of people aren't even willing to pay twenty-five cents for me. All right, we're facing we're facing severe problems at the moment. No, I'm saying twenty-five cents for twenty-five strats. Or we can make a better deal. Uh, fifty cents for fifty. Uh, twenty-five cents for fifty strats. Uh, uh, <laughs> that makes me worth less than a penny. Is my life worth that little? Just no, make no, sure no, you buy, buy a book, one. folks. Buy <laughs> one, get one free. That's... There's not two of me, there's only one of me. You can't sell me in, like, package deals. I don't know, we could mass produce five, Okay, by the way, 5% are saying they pay $1, and 5% are saying they pay $100. <laughs> but vote on that poll, I'll come back to it in, like, 15 minutes. It's on, it's on the doing? stream, on the cards tab. Alright, so... Yes, Devin. The people that are out... Oh, strong gun. Are in. Hmm. Who's out? The Shoot. people that are not going to. It was a pretty uneventful, uh, not very drama filled pre qualifying session, to be quite honest. Uh, because there really wasn't a lot of uh, swapping of positions after the 20th minute. Uh, but the people that are out 86, Tanya Hardy. Oh, dear. Uh, that oh, is man. her third DNQ of the season. Likewise, 43, Lee Barrett. Also not making it. Uh, that's his third. Uh, Brian Wood, also missing his third race of the season. Isaac Gomez, also oh, missing his God. third race of the season. So, oh, no. four people who have really struggled to qualify. Ryan Leahy, who is missing his second race of the season. Um, Eris Sylvester, who I believe is actually, this is the first race that he's missing. Yay! <laughs> yeah. Yay! Uh, One number two, yay. Jesse Powers, oh, his track. second race that he has missed. And number 25, Leighton Holland. Mm. Let's go! I made it! Let's go! We're getting you're some not, points tonight! You're not Leighton Holland. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy about that. It means I'm getting points! 
What? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Uh, you are guaranteed point, Strat. I mean, you All right, are. How, how old do I have to do to get out of last place? Oh, that confirms so the Strat. You do need a lot of points to get out of last place because Julio Cesar did also make it. God! Has so. Strat Not made cool. it? He, Strat actually made it now. I qualified. Yes, Strat is going to be in the show for Pikes Peak. Well, there you go, Doesn't Strat. Mean he'll get oh. first. Strat's Doesn't in the show. Get first. And that show yeah, right there. starts on the gaming channel in 25 minutes. I did better strat than you, Nathan, in the qualifying round. Let's strat, do it. Let's... Clean your room, Strat. Oh, my room is very clean. It's, it's very clean. Okay, my hair, is, my hair is a bit out of whack because I didn't brush it last night. Only but... the race how, you, how you do in the qualifying round doesn't mean you'll do good and doesn't yeah, relate just let me be ha let me have some spirit of happiness with my racing skills for about a split second Luke no, all right you're not buddy allowed. <laughs> look I've done I I'm last overall I need I need some sort Are of soul here <laughs> yeah he is and Marcel's <laughs> first why not? no Marcel's first <laughs> yes oh, no. Polo's truck is first all right Polo's truck on oh, the truck hey you wait till force 13 racing series 2 starts <laughs> I really? St I'm 64 points. How? Okay. How many points does the winner get in a race, a lot. Devin? You're not gonna be the winner. I think Devin's gone now to prepare for this. He's not here. Oh, sure. That, that makes me very, very upset. I'd imagine 100, but. All right. Uh, stay tuned, guys. We've got a few more features that you don't want to miss coming up. Uh, but we've got some more questions. When is the first video for Force 13 Earthquakes gonna come? I'm not entirely sure when that will be, but I think we're gonna be getting moving on that. Maybe within a week or so. Yeah. I think I'm not mistaken. One of the big features that's going to be probably a consistent live stream showing the global activity rather than just you know standalone videos. Yeah. Based on the most, whole most system likely. Uh, here's Perfection. a question: Would uh, 2010 be an analog for this year in the Atlantic? Not really. Um, it's not really a 2010. Um, as I said, the best ones right now: 1979 and 2019. Um, people enjoying themselves. Ethan, what's going on over there? Nothing much at the moment. Are we adding someone yet? Uh, potentially. Go ahead and do that right, right. now, because I can't. We got room, we got room. We got, I think, 9 out of 10? Room at the end. <laughs> Isaac, why would you, why do you need to post that in the chat, dude? Why do you need to post... What's he posting in the what? Don't look I... at it. Why are you trying to? Why are you trying to cause attention to it now? I, mean, I don't okay. know. What... Strat, what's happened? There, someone posted an inappropriate message in the chat, and they have been yeah. banned from oh, the yeah. chat. Oh, they've been dealt with. You they've they've been dealt with. <laughs> dealt with. I stop. Laugh. Nathan, stop! Stop laughing at that, Nathan. Stop. I, I shouldn't <laughs> laugh. I think uh, even dealt with. There's another one there. I think we need. I think we might have an Ivan repeat. Uh, not fully out of the question, but I don't think so. Actually, I would say maybe an Allen is more likely. Um, a Harvey track with a much stronger storm uh, can't be ruled out. Um, what? Well, uh, miss. Oh yeah, we <laughs> we need more guess the storm. I love dominating the team. Oh, people are getting cocky yeah. in the chat tonight. That That's not very nice, guys. All right. Well, well here's what we're doing. Um, I don't know whether it's going to be this Friday or whether we were not ready enough and we're going to do it next Friday. We're going to do um, an actual Guess the Storm show with two teams within our project, which I think will be fun. Yeah. And we'll also be doing an, another public Guess the Storm at some point. Maybe if the team one only happens two weeks from now, then we might do the public one this Friday. That might be a plan. Um, so we'll see where we end up with that. Just stay tuned. You'll probably see a message come up on your feed saying, hey, we're doing this this week. Um, but we're certainly doing a lot more events. And we can say that much. Um, Got to ramp up heading into hurricane season. Yeah, of course. We're hoping yeah, to bring the gonna... weather beat back uh, on Wednesday nights pretty soon. And of course, starting May 15th. Oh, yes. Tropical weather bulletins are back. People That's like three control. weeks away. We're getting pretty close. Yeah, yeah. It, it, Someone's also asking. It's daunting for me, Strat, because I just don't feel ready whatsoever. <laughs> got three well, weeks to the get time has come. Up. We got to, we got to deliver. 
Someone's asking in the chat. I think so. We can all answer. Ethan's got his answer ready for this already. Does anyone mm -hmm. here on the team have a pet? Oh. oh. A lot of people. I think do. most people. Right there. A lot of us do. Yeah. Ethan's Wait, got his... say again? I didn't hear the question. We've already someone, seen someone asked in the chat. Does anyone on the team have a pet? And oh yeah, a lot of yeah. us do. I have Strat has a very cute cat. cat. I got a cat. I got a I dog. Do too. I used to have a fish until the cat ate the fish. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Um, ouch! You know, look. I will say yeah. I am very thankful that despite all of this, people aren't sending us animals or random things like you yeah. know PO boxes and stuff. FYI, like, don't do Dave. That. Yeah, Dave Portney, the founder of Barstool Sports, has to deal with absolute insanity. He has this unboxing stream every night, and he has like thousands of viewers. And people started sending him a live fish, and he had to get fish tanks and stuff for them. Oh my god! And like goodness. it's. It's been a whole adventure for the dude. Uh, so we love our pets, but we don't want people sending us pets. The next thing you know, Strat will cat. be doing unboxing pets on Force 13 Extra. <laughs> Ethan's got his dog right there on the stream, look at that! Yeah, there's that's, my not, cat. that's not the first oh, time, so Strat. Oh, yeah, look, but uh... earlier in the stream we could just see the dog's tail because he was trying to like, jump out the window or something. There's Isaac's cat as well. Very nice cat. And Ethan that's there. Two colored eyes. Nathan's got his awesome cat too. Yeah. Then we got another, there's another cat too. Force 13 US HQ also has a cat that has bombed a few live streams. Yeah, and past. I still can't find that goddamn clip <laughs> <laughs> of the cat bombing. Someone two. has 33 chickens and three dogs. Holy wow! 33 chickens. And they that say cat. they win. A farm? Their username is crazy. No, that's not a farm. These are pets, dude. That's a big, well, big, no, big no, difference. No, I'm guessing he's on a farm because 33. I don't know, man. But he, yeah. he's he's called Crazy Chicken Dude, that's his username. And um yeah. Gotta say. Stra I am simply winner. I'm simply too sorry for you because your pet cannot compete against mine. Mine is clearly oh. superior. Wait, no, 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 no. That's not hold on. I gotta now I gotta get my dog. That's quite something. Oh, if if we're adding anyone to the stream for the last twenty minutes, we should do it right now, but I'm gonna get my dog real quick. Cause my dog is yeah, way your dog cuter. To the stream. Absolutely. Brooklyn, where are you? Brooklyn. Where's the oh, dog? I need to carry her. Hold on, just a minute. Let's There's look Gaston. at Strat's room up where close. Is she? Oh dear, what a mess. She's outside. Oh, she might have, she might have some water on her because she's outside. I'm bringing her inside for this. Uh, this can't Bye. be good. <laughs> oh dear. Oh no. Oh, no, it isn't raining out here. It's only in badly. Come on. Oh my god. Come back with me. It's these Come on, moments. you're going on a live stream, Brooklyn. Come on. Come on. It's no, these no, come moments on. where you question no, no, your don't, existence. Don't walk away from me. Hey! He's walking away from him. No, no, I got her. I picked her up. Look at this. Oh. We're trying. Look at her! <laughs> Isn't she adorable? Very I'll put adorable. you down on my chair, Brooklyn. What? Oh, no, no, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, it's like the okay. streaming world. Strat, what are you doing? She just ran away! Strat? Oh. What yeah. I entered Strat? the streaming universe, and this are is where I see it. Are you in Nightwear right now? <laughs> I've been in nightwear for about like three weeks, dude. Respect three the weeks. flannel. Respect the flannel. <laughs> Gotta respect the flannel, man, yeah. Uh, I haven't left the house in like two and a half. We're now joined by FCX, who's on the top left hand side. Hello. How are you today? I don't think uh, we've actually seen you on a stream before. Well, I've been on two streams, but they were pretty far apart. The last stream I was actually participating in was the Damien one, and then the one before that was the severe coverage back in, I think, October last year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is my third time then in that case, but first informal one. You're somewhere up the East Coast, right? I can't remember. Yes, Maryland. Cool. Very good, very good. So we've right got people Baltimore. from all across everywhere, and of course Craig there as well. From lovely Scotland. Scotland is lovely. Scotland. All right. This there's something incredible though. Crazy Chicken Dude says he has a rooster named Cluck Norris. Cluck Norris. That. <laughs> That's amazing. Not bad at all. Okay, does anyone have? Oh, does wait, anyone have a better pet Ethan's name than that? A battle. <laughs> Hold on. Cluck Norris, the unstoppable chicken. He, he <laughs> pulls very hard. Our pets are our pets are on fire tonight. They're attacking and running. My cats are outside, but I mean, I have three cats. 
This is a mess. An absolute mess. I'm sure one of them had to barge in through that door in a couple of minutes. It does happen with the crazy, with the crazy <laughs> pets. All right. In 15 minutes time, Force 13 Gaming will be running. Uh, you can find the Force 13 Gaming channel. It's linked through our main channel. I'm sure Strat will put down a link as well when it happens. Definitely will. Uh, we and... will show the start of Devon's race at the top of the hour, and then we'll be. Would you like to be a part of that too? Um, yep. And tonight's event poll is still ongoing on the card. Or do I have to be part of the Force 13 gaming thing too? Um, well, maybe in the it's future. It's just a single it's, commentary, uh, I think. It's just Devon running a race of virtual players who are supposed to ah. be ours. Um, yeah. But yep. also, we do have a real treat for you right near the end. If you haven't been watching Force 13 Extra, oh, it's going to be even yes, better yes, than what yes, you yes. thought. There's definitely <laughs> Tonight's poll, by the way, is still ongoing. 66%. You don't get further than Force 13 Extra, especially cooking with Strat. Cooking exactly. with Strat's fire. It's great. Exactly. It's great. Strat's it's fire, fire all right. Strat's fire, the, the, all right. <laughs> the ongoing poll right now in the community, on the um the, the card section of the stream, currently one cent is winning with 66% of the vote. Congratulations, guys. You're picking the right choice. <laughs> no, no. The poll asking, how much would you pay for a Strat Becker? is currently ongoing second place is one million dollars with 22 percent of the vote uh everyone should go vote for that one million dollar tag real quick maybe the um, strap value will go like the oil value <laughs> it, i'm not going negative in value dude. come on come on we, we can't go now nah. you gotta give us money to come and get bought by me strap. <laughs> uh so no one has voted for ten thousand dollars as no one should for strap hey strap um strat's, strat's not going to make it <laughs> Uh, look, if if you sincerely vote for a million dollars and you got a million dollars, my my DMs on on Discord are definitely open. Oh, <laughs> I, I will I will put it all into safe investments and turn it into millions yeah, of dollars. Yes, hey, Strat, Strat stonks rises back again. <laughs> Lucarius puts in the chat Strat Becker's value minus four hundred twenty dollars and sixty nine cents. No, it should be six. It should be sixty-nine thousand four hundred twenty dollars below zero. <laughs> um, all right, I want to reveal at this point what our next photo competition is going to be. Strap blushing away there. Um, <laughs> we decided. We actually only decided on this about an hour ago. Um, what the next week's um, photo competition is going to be? Uh, it's just a, for fun, of course, because we don't have anything to give anyone ever. Uh, only <laughs> our best wishes and. Um, praise and more praise and more praise. Um, but if you are interested in taking part and promoting yourself, you can take part via our Facebook page, Force 13 International, and by email by sending your pictures to contact at force13.com. So, this week's theme is night photography. So, if you've taken any photos at any time, that is taken at night, and it could be anything. It could be astrophotography, it could be urban photography, it could be anything to do, anything that was taken at night. Uh, that is the theme for the next week. You've got till next Sunday's stream, assuming that we're doing one and there's not more tornadoes to track instead. Um, and then we'll reveal, we'll, we'll get someone, we'll pick someone in the room, the lucky person who will get to pick uh, who, which picture is the best, and the people who don't win can then blame that person, and not me. <laughs> now, of course, we recommend. Now, of course, I have a message to say about this. If you have an iPhone 11 or the new Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra, then you're freaking cheating, and you should be eliminated from this race. <laughs> you don't have the advantage of the night camera. You, use your real, use a real camera. Don't use your iPhone for the nighttime. You can't cheat with the fancy. This needs to be like, a fair game, not a camera. Cheating with your iPhone 11. <laughs> so, uh, can Strat, uh, your good buddy yep. Thomas Schwent says, "Tell Strat he just needs to give me all of his banking information. I will gladly give him one million dollars." Look, we can start. We can start with Venmo and see if you're a legit person, and then we can go from there. <laughs> hey, you know. Strat. Yeah. You wanna know what I voted on the on the card? What you vote on the card? <laughs> One cent. No. <laughs> God Excellent. damn it, guys! I was nice enough. I was nice enough. I gave half a penny. 
Wait, that, that's less say. than the minimum option on the poll. <laughs> you can't choose that option. <laughs> well, if we want to. <laughs> I'm literally getting but scorched. You can. Ooh, like scorching. I mean... Well, one oh, strat, people are trying to vote for 10,000, though. Um, well, on. One cent is down to 57%. No, guys, <laughs> don't do it. Okay. Come on, make one right cent now. not a majority. Everyone like, strat, vote for anything this, above I'll, one I'll cent. It can even be a dollar. It can even be a dollar. Just don't let one cent win. I will okay. let you have five dollars if you make this. Here's the percentage is right now <laughs> up being live. Uh, Wait, what do I got to do for five dollars? I got this. You gotta win it. You gotta win the race and tired. Four percent for one dollar. Four percent for one hundred dollars. I'm keeping the other ten. Ten thousand for fourteen. Ten thousand dollars. Fourteen percent for ten thousand dollars, and nineteen percent for one million dollars. I was just gonna of show course. off the fact that I've got two dollars with me, but I haven't got it with me anymore. <laughs> I got a hundred dollar bill somewhere, but hundred dollar bill. And that's because oh, hopefully, boy. uh, Corona permits. All right. There's a US cent... tour going on this year, Strat. Yeah. After bringing that to attention, one cent is back up to 63%, and that greatly upsets me. So I just want to point that out, viewers, if you are interested in participating in a possible US tour, which if, is... If hmm, travel which, restrictions are lifted. Which will definitely happen if there are no travel restrictions on July 19th to August 9th, covering 20 states. Get in touch. You're welcome. I love how it ends two days before my birthday. <laughs> Sweet 16 for me. <laughs> All right, I think it's time, uh, Strat. Yeah. It's that time of the month. It's time for the, oh, the wonderful God. piece of art to come on screen. Now, Is that what we're hearing? Oh, dear God. With luck, I might be able to put it... Is that picture? Oh, dear. Okay, um, we might... I wonder what will happen if I try to stream it with you on Discord right now. Uh, maybe this... Let's see what happens. Let's hope this works. Oh, I see Nathan's face! There's the video! Alright, the so there I am left. up in the top left-hand corner. And hopefully... Well, guess what? I've Tap never, yourself! I've never, tried, I've never tried this oh, before, no. but hopefully we can simultaneously stream this full thing and stream that at the same time. If you've not seen Force 13 Extra recently, Strat has been producing a series of videos called Cooking with Strat. <laughs> They're actually meals with Strat, Nathan? You, you we should be calling it first-time cookers with and Gordon then you Ramsay Jr. It cooking with Strat. I, I uh, changed it back to meals with Strat. Okay, so Strat's been making cooking videos, uh, which people hate overall. <laughs> They're al almost all of them have people, very strong like rings. What are you talking about? People are out for Strat's head, really. Um, oh, I am. Very much they want to. So. They want to kill him for that. Um, <laughs> so uh, I, I sort of did the Please honors. Please do not advertise death threats on anyone. I Strat did, is okay. I, I sort of did the one. honors on the fifth cooking with Strat episode. This happened. Force thirteen extra, and I've got a very special installment of cooking Strat. And you can react in real time because so, we can still uh, hear you all. It's a step-by-step -step guide. On oh my goodness! What a guitar! And we're gonna go and get one now. Um, <laughs> It's a good idea to uh, freeze, freeze your strap, put it in the freezer humanity. for about two or three days before getting him out. It's terrible. I love that green screen. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Alright, he's, he's in the snow. <laughs> oh god. One of these freshly frozen straps. Nice well, here's a strap I prepared earlier. Oh uh, god. In the freezer for about half a week. Oh As you can see, there he is. It's great. Cook the strap in the oven no. at 250 degrees And when it's ready, get your strap out. That was a good scream. <laughs> oh dear. Get the strap out. Ah. Where was that from? From the Nelson chat. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh god. Oh, god. Uh, Nelson Chronicles. I think we had a bit of an accident with strap. Oh, there's, there's an issue here. To... Oh! oh. Yes! You are so sassy, Strat! So sassy, Strat. <laughs> I guess so the first go. time I watched that, we I actually cried because it was so funny. Someone in the chat saying, Whoa! That was the first time I oh god, fire! Raffle, raffle, raffle! Oh, that only took I about two hours to cooking make. with Strat after episode two. I could say, I, it takes dedication to not only superimpose me onto a metal plate, but to then not only take audio clips that you have for yourself from old content, but to go to my 12-year-old YouTube channel. Yes. And steal content from that. Steal? Just to make 
Fair use. Borrow. Fair use. What? Um, Stray, you didn't copyright strike Nathan. It's there's transformative. A, there's a good like comment there. copyright strike Nathan for just, that. <laughs> just saw a good comment there. Welcome back to Gordon Ramsay Kitchen Nightmares, Strat. Uh, maybe we should, oh, what, maybe what we should try Ramsay and get... Did? Absolutely, we should get Gordon Ramsay to do a production should. and actually cook a Strat. Live. Oh my god, that'd be terrible. Yes, I don't want anyone to cook okay, guys, box for don't everyone cook to watch. guitars, please. Do not cook guitars. Very dangerous thing to do. Don't call cooking the strat is a very, very dangerous That strat is raw. <laughs> Unless, of course, you make a cake that has the word strat on it. Then Someone's you can cook that. Burning strat with Nathan Foy. <laughs> just, just like, just have one of those master cake decorators put, put like decorate like a cake with strat space on top of it, <laughs> and then put it in the oven. <laughs> God, yeah, I wonder what would happen. Um... Someone's asking, "Hey, who's on the middle right screen?" Oh, that's a cat. It's also Isaac. That's me. Yeah, uh, that's in the middle now. We've got two cats on there right now. The middle panel is uh, Isaac's cat, and the top panel is Luke Cats. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. That's my key. Oh, oh no. yes, 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 Strat, yes, Strat, Squirrel Stew. No, 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 no. Look, I, I could accept someone voting that I'm worth one penny as 60% of the viewers have done. But actually Squirrel Stew is taking it a bit too far, wouldn't you agree? You know, if anyone has disputes over how they want to cook strats or, or what should be cooked, my DMs on Discord are open at RealStratBecker, hashtag 6931. But do not ever say publicly that you want stir squirrel stew to be ignore the next meal produced on cooking with Sorry strat. about the ignore. Uh, sorry horrendous. about the interruption about my grandparent trying to enter through and trying to scare me. That kind really? of works. <laughs> that that. Uh, and uh, just what another note. Just, I'm sorry, Craig. Go ahead. What's he got? What, what is he got against squirrel stew? I don't. I don't. I don't have anything in squirrels, but making <laughs> stew out of squirrels to to. To harm my my fellow brethren is pretty much. Someone has messaged me on Discord saying I am a squirrel. So the thanks for that. <laughs> so you are well a squirrel. And so if you want to join our Discord haven't server, haven't we tried to confirm how many times that strat is a squirrel? Mm, many times. Just, just embrace it. Just embrace the fact yeah. that you're a squirrel strat. If I, I'm you not. Want to join I'm our human, Discord server. They're, click they're the link cousins. underneath our live stream, and there's loads of other links there as well, strat. Oh God. So, yeah, there's a lot of other links. We got our merch store, which is. Very sicko mode. That's where this pillow. We need to grab squirrel merch. Yeah, you know, we we'll got the, have, the great. Hey, the we'll great have new arrivals in the merch store by the start of hurricane season too. That's true. There's going to be some can new we, arrivals. Can we get squirrel strat merch. Be, um, our I'm sure everyone will want that. Maybe I don't know. We also got the the ultimate fan thing with a join button up next to the the YouTube that channel. That sounds thing. real convincing. Yes, yeah, the ultimate fan thing. Right Okay, it's Ultimate Fans is a great thing. I've been an Ultimate Fan since it came out, day one. You know, fantastic work. We no need to show off, Strat. We also got our Patreon page, Who's Facebook, in the Twitter, and <laughs> who is in the background? Is someone playing a 413 Extra video? Hold on, let me turn on my noise pressure system. Someone's playing a 413 Extra video of my there Mexico vlog. Who's playing that? I don't know. That, that, that is not me. It is FCS. It's no, it's Isaac. Oh, Isaac. <laughs> yeah, thanks for blaming me, Luke. It's me. Oh, I know. I, I, saw <laughs> I, know, I, know, I know. I've had a history right. of me having echoes, but this time but, it was not me. But before we it's before we go you. off, <laughs> yeah, all links in the description are great things. Yeah, we need a lot of time. <laughs> so join button soon. to become an ultimate. Oh, all right, join button to become an ultimate fan. Great thing. Lots of content there. You can actually see some of the animations early. If you three premieres this week, three days That's in advance, true. guys. Nice. And you'll be able to see all of them early. We got the Discord server, top link in the description, great community there. The merch store where you can get pillows, shirts, Jesus, mugs, here here stickers, comes the whole spiel. works. Patreon, which is very similar to the Ultimate Fans thing on YouTube. We also got our Facebook we, page. We would Twitter, recommend the Twitter, Ultimate Fans, platforms. you get more And of course, our YouTube channel right here, where you better be subscribed if you aren't already. I will be very upset. If you're not subscribed at this point in time, Strat, you're going to watch Strat, 13 Strat, extra Strat, too, Strat, so you can see more of Strat's fails with life. Strat, stop right there, man. Stop what? right there. People what's, will what's want to on? see you upset. <laughs> I will. Okay, I'll be very happy if you don't subscribe. That'll make me so great. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be great. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be great. And me here, I'll be, I'll be I'll very be... upset if you don't subscribe. 
<laughs> yeah, Nathan will be upset if you don't subscribe. See, that that's the thing you gotta care about most. <laughs> I love all this stream, you just see... <laughs> <laughs> Isaac's clips of my vacation videos. I can't. I can't wait until the next strat. Uh, like if if strat is not affected by anything again, we need to see that. <laughs> Strat's not even showing your face at all. Yeah, I will say I am much tanner now than I was at the leaving campus video. You look the same. I'm still pale because no, I'm way darker. In four weeks, I'm I'm, whoa, whoa, I'm paler whoa, whoa, now than that? I was when I what's first that? got back from Mexico. But like strat, what strat? What's that? What's that? What's on my screen right there? What's that? What is that? Um, is is that a sacrifice oh. or something? What's that? What is that? No, 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 no. That, that's what happened when I came into the room. They make that there every day at vacation. <laughs> what? Yeah, <laughs> they have that it's in a lot of... No, no, it's like an elephant. It's an elephant or something. They, they do things like that in a lot of places down there. Yeah. Oh, do. okay. Okay, I thought he was trying to do like... Crazy sort of chicken life. dude. Thanks for being subscribed since 2012. Oh. You're right here alongside oh, me. that's a long time. That's I've been subbed since 2012 as well. That is, you, you are a very spectacular supporter. Thank that's you so really much. Know, in 2013, so 2016, and so in four years, I guess, that's good enough. Sending me email after email. <laughs> I was underage when I subscribed. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy chicken dude. You better be in the Discord server tonight, man. I want to congratulate you for your your hard effort of being a supporter for such a long time. And we do have to wrap up now, but if you do have any suggestions for the project, maybe new features that you might want to see or how things could be improved, uh, don't be afraid to send a message. Uh, the best way to get directly in touch with us is either through our Discord server or by email. Again, contact at force13.com is our email address. Um, shortly, Devon's Racing will be beginning. I'm not sure exactly when that's going to be, but it should be any time now. Uh, that's on the Force 13 Gaming channel, and as soon as it begins, we will put it on our screen for a few minutes um, whilst we finish up and uh, switch over. Uh, yeah, so, bye. anything else you guys want to talk about briefly? Not much. I am a cat. <laughs> we're gonna for the next five minutes. Thank, thank you everyone for being here tonight, though. It was a good time. Thank you to yeah, all of you for oh, coming thank out. Thank you for actually putting me in here, because this is like my third stream, and y'all wanted new users. <laughs> I seem to be one of the only. Yeah, what's, what's poppin', Isaac? Uh, I, was, I just wanted to ask you a serious question here, like really, really, honestly, serious question. Yeah, um, what's up? Can I? Uh, is it possible uh, in your busy schedule now that you have um, that it that it could give me an autograph? <laughs> I'm, I'm actually getting. I'm actually getting a phone call from my cousin right now. But DM me later, and we'll get it done. Guys, we got to finish oh, up. Devon's okay. now live with the race. Thanks very much for being with us tonight, and we'll see you again next Sunday, weather permitting. Good night. Yeah. Eight four eight miles an hour around this relatively flat one mile course. He is absolutely flying around this course. If that's the time he really got, flying. So you've got your leader, Daryl Manning. In second place, we're going to have Alex Lovers. Third, Ronan Hay. Fourth, we'll have Julio Cesar. In fifth, David Tone. Sixth, Ethan Bruning. Seventh, your points leader, Marcel Holos. And in eighth, Jack Boucher. In ninth, we have Wesley Hicks in the 50. And in tenth, Shriva Marach Prasad will round out your top ten. So you can see here a bunch of stars here lining up in the top 10. <clears throat> and here is your command for today's race. And here we go, the pace car. Flies off, and we are underway. Pace car dives off into the short pit road here. Remember, the track length is only 1.06 miles. The cars come off the turn four, and the green flag is displayed. Here in the beautiful Rocky Mountains of Colorado. Devon's Race continues live on Force 13 Gaming right now. Tune in for that and let's see who wins that contest. That's on the Force 13 Gaming channel. You can navigate there through our main channel, featured channels section. 
and uh, you might want to subscribe if that's your thing as well. We'll be back next Sunday, as we said, weather permitting. Good night from us. Marcel here in third. Now he's the points leader, but an interesting thing about him being the points leader, to this point he has not led a single lap. Meanwhile, problems here as the field starts to slow down for yellow flag as we have a caution on lap one. Good lord, we have a couple people down here in the infield wall. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what happened. This wreck occurred in the very back of the pack, but you'll see Orlando's going to slow down. They're going to go four wide. John Courier, Victoria Pontius, very hard off the inside wall. Orlando Figueroa and Nathan Foy look relatively unscathed. John Courier's car is trash, and Victoria Pontius is looking much better than John Courier taking a nasty look off the inside wall. is going to retire due to his damages from that accident. Definitely not surprising, to say the least. So that is going to put our top 10 as the following. Ronan Hay is your leader. Second place, Daryl Manning. Third, Alex Lubbers. Fourth, Wesley Hicks. Fifth, Ethan Bruning. Sixth, Jack Boucher.